Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Heiko's Garage. Where are my desk? I'm looking at a mess of camera lenses and um, I'll explain here what's going on. So you guys know that I'm shooting with a Canon EOS camera. This is my Canon EOS Rebel SL3 that I usually use and I already have a bunch of lenses for that camera. The, the kit lens, uh, 10 to 18 millimeter, a 24 millimeter uh, uh, prime lens. And I also have an 18 through 125 Sigma lens for it. So it's all good. I, I have all the bases covered. Um, but then just recently, from my wife's family, I got some old vintage uh, Nikon F-mount lenses. Um, and those lenses are manual focus. And I had heard before that a lot of people use old vintage um, lenses because of their glass quality build quality and they use them for photography or even uh, filmmaking and i started looking into how to mount those f mount lenses onto my canon eos camera there's a company called photo diox you can find them under photodioxpro.com or photodiox.com i believe yeah on the packaging it says photodioxpro.com Anyways, um, they make adapter rings for all kinds of camera lens combinations. So Nikon lenses on a Sony or a Pentax on a Nikon or a, you, you get the drift. So you can um, adapt old vintage glass onto modern cameras. That's pretty much what I'm saying. And so now I started looking into um, what those lenses are. These are all Nikon F mount lenses. Uh, over the years, they have made different variation of this F-mount. Even until today, they still make uh, cameras that still use the same um, the three-lug bayonet mounting system. So here is a, I want to say maybe 2010 F-mount lens made by uh, Nikon. And um, it's still the same three-lug bayonet but this one here is called a g-type so the g-type is an intelligent lens that has you know autofocus and all that kind of stuff and it has no manual aperture control ring anymore um, so those old lenses here they even had a few different versions of that um, the first one was called the non-ai or the pre-ai ai stands for aperture indexing on those really old ones, uh, you have this little thing up here. They call them rabbit, rabbit ears. This is an interface that interfaces with an old Nikon camera. You see this little pin here. The camera uh, lens lines up with that pin and gives the aperture setting that you selected back to the metering instrument inside the camera. So this is the pre-AI. Then the next one was the AI, the um, aperture indexing. The only AI lens that I have is a non Nikon lens. This is made by Sun Zoom. And um, you can see that it still has the little rabbit ears up here. But on top of that, it also has um, in the aperture ring itself, has a couple steps. Here's a pretty big step. And here's a little uh, nib sticking out. And this is the AI, the uh, aperture indexing. Another difference that you can always uh, see is that the pre-AI lenses only have one row of printing of the uh, f-stop numbers on it and the AI lenses all have two rows. There's one here and then one is pretty close to the mount itself. So um, if you have a smooth aperture ring with no steps in it and only one row of numbers and the rabbit ears on it then you know you have a non-ai lens and if you have steps in your aperture ring plus the two numbers then you have an ai lens and then and there's another thing if you have this little here's a little divot in the aluminum here in the mount it makes it an ais lens so three different versions 
uh, using the same mounting system. So um, this really old lens and this little bit newer lens, they both fit onto this vintage camera over here, the Nikomat. This is a Japanese market uh, Nikon camera, kind of a, I guess back in the days it was considered a budget version off of their Nikon camera. But uh, yeah, so Photodiox that makes this adapter ring that I bought. Let's go to their webpage. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here is the lens adapter that I bought. It's $34.95. And right up here in red, it says, please, please note non-AI 1959 through 1977 lenses are not compatible with this adapter. They make a bunch of different adapters. They make uh, Nikon F-mount G-type lens uh, adapters that um, I showed you earlier, the ones that don't have a manual aperture control. And this adapter actually adds the aperture control in form of those blue little levers there. So you can use those more modern lenses as a manual focus, manual aperture lens on your Canon EOS camera. Even that is possible. So if you get your hands on a really nice Nikon glass, uh, a lens that has really nice glass and maybe a really fast lens, uh, you can adapt it and at least use it as a manual focus lens on your Canon EOS. But all those adapters, they will tell you, doesn't matter which one, this is here, this is the pro version with a focus confirmation chip. The focus confirmation chip pretty much just lets the camera know that there is a lens attached to it, so it's not going to be complaining. Um, they will all say non-AI lenses are not compatible. You know, I have three non-AI lenses and one AIS lens, and I needed to try, so let's go back to camera view here. So I tried, I grabbed my non-AI lens, my adapter ring, the, the three lugs are made in a way so that this adapter ring really only fits on here in one position. And then you just grab it and turn it until it clicks. Click. And it's on a non-AI lens. They say it's not compatible. The aperture ring fr moves freely, so the adapter is not rubbing on the aperture adjustment ring here. There's, it's not touching it. Um, and here's a little release lever that you have to push down to get this adapter ring back off of it. No problems whatsoever. F-mount lens with the adapter ring and twist it on. It clicks into position. So the focus ring on this lens here works just fine. The aperture adjustment works just fine. And then when I turn the camera on, Let's take the lens cap off. You can see that there is a picture appearing. I've tried to focus long distance and close up. It works. Um, here, let me do some aperture adjustments here. You can see how I open and close the aperture. That's working just fine. And I mean, it's not focused. Sorry, I could have done a better job with that. Um, but it takes pictures, it doesn't complain. And so I would say this myth is busted. The non-AI lens actually fits on this adapter just fine. So now let's get to the next curious part about this whole thing. After I put my Sigma lens back on here, put it out of the way. Don't want to get dust into my camera body. So now pushing the little lever here, taking this adapter ring off, click. Let's put... I don't even know. Put something on here. Put it out of the way. And now we're going to grab the only AI lens that I have. It's the sun zoom lens that has the uh, aperture index little steps in the outer ring here. And uh, when I take that and stick the the adapter ring on here. It goes on really stiff. It clicks in position, but then the aperture ring with those two steps that it has, one over here, one over there, is rubbing on the adapter ring. So 
What they were saying is that those older lenses, the first generation F-mount lenses, the non-AI lenses are not compatible and the AI lenses are compatible. But here in this case, this is not compatible because now the aperture ring does not move or really stiff because it's rubbing on the adapter. Now I'm going to take this off. At least I'm going to try. Here we go. Now you can see there are gouges, rub marks off the uh, aperture ring here on the paint or plastic insert here has scraped off some of the paint, which is probably not inhibiting its function. It's not a big deal. But on their webpage, they say that this is compatible with AI lenses, but not with those. And I figure out that it's not compatible with the AI lens because of the steps here. And it's perfectly usable. I've tried it on all three of my, my lenses here. Uh, no. So like I said, it only fits in one orientation. The three lugs of this bayonet are different size. So you have to figure out. So click, aperture ring moving freely, focusing all the, the nine yards here. No problem. Let's try another one. Here's another non-AI lens. Let's see. Push down, twist, click. Aperture ring moves freely, no problems. And this can be mounted on my cam camera, no problem. There. And there is another one over here. Kind of to figure out where you have to turn this. Uh, remember the little push button here? That lifts a little pin. Here's the little pin. And the pin always goes into this notch here. So if you line it up, so kind of like that, you know that you're going to turn the ring this way. The pin will click into this groove. Like that, push down, twist. Now it's not a click. Here we go. Aperture ring moving freely. No problems. Focus ring moving freely. There's no interference with anything on the non-AI lenses. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm going to reach out to this company. Um, I have asked them before if they do make non-AI adapter rings. That was before I bought this and before I tried it myself. But from what I can see is that this adapter ring works perfectly with non-AI lenses and it does not work with my the only AI lens that I have due to the aperture indexing on the aperture ring here. I'm kind of tempted to just take a file to it. This lens has to come apart. It's completely um, bogged up inside. There's lots of fungus in all of those lenses here. I don't know if you can see this. Let's do open up the aperture. They are completely messed up on the inside. I don't know. Here, let's take this off. Flashlight. See that? All that in there. Spider webs. <laughs> That's fungus. I think this one here is actually the one that was on this old Nikon camera. It's a little foggy, but it doesn't have much fungus. This one here. Is pretty bad. So anyways, what I'm saying is don't always believe what manufacturers of aftermarket adapters tell you on their webpage. Um, buy one if it's not too expensive and just try it out. In my case, all the non-AI lenses work perfectly and the AI lens that's supposedly compatible does not work. Check out their webpage. I mean, this, this ring here is pretty good quality and there is electronics on it to communicate with my camera. Pretty nice. I'm just a little confused about their advertisement and their description. So um, that's it. Four Nikon F-mount lenses. And I, it looks like once I get those cleaned up, there are going to be videos coming out soon where I will take those apart, clean all the uh, lens elements in there and put them back together, hopefully. And um, 
I will take you along and then we're gonna start using those lenses on my modern Canon EOS camera maybe for um, filming over the desk here or for other purposes alrighty guys please uh, consider giving me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye